today we're gonna start putting some wall panels up on the side of the bus to kind of hide off all the insulation. Um, Hopefully we'll get to doing some flooring, some bed framing, bed frame, and whatever else comes up that <laughs> catches our eye. Yeah, but we took a little bit of a hiatus and now we're back at it. So let's get started. and put them up on the wall. The exposed panels are the ones that I painted white and hopefully the ones that I didn't paint won't be exposed. So we'll see if I figured it out correctly, but our panels are up on the wall. So we have some laminate at home. And so we're just gonna reuse what we have and hopefully it fills up the bus. Otherwise we have to run to the store and buy some, but we're gonna start flooring right now. everything out it was because the two end side the end pieces weren't locking in and I just couldn't figure out how to do it and finally I realized I have to lock the ends in first and then do the long side pieces so I took everything out to, to relock it and then I'll put it back in a lot of work <laughs> the bed today uh, we're gonna be making it queen size so 80 by 60 um, we'll be using two by fours to frame it out we we'll go at the back of the bus so enjoy Here's a general layout of the bed. We got our 80 inch pieces on the side, 77 in the middle beam, and 57 on the outside. And that should add up to a nice 80 by 60 rectangle for our queen size.
this morning I'm going to start installing the bed slats onto the bed frame. Today we have 1x4s. Uh, just going to line them up across the length of the bed. Should be an easy job. also have a pad that we're going to put on top and let's see hopefully it's gonna fit perfectly looks good fits yeah And the floor is in. Floated some laminate over the, the plywood. Got it all locked into place. Used two by fours to build out the bed frame. And uh, we got our back wall panels up as well. So it's uh, got some progress going. All right. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.